Daddy Pig said. We don't know. We just want to go for a drive. And we'll see what we see on the way. And if we see anything nice, we'll stop and take a look. So off they go on the little drive. Halfway through the journey, Daddy Pig says, There's something wrong with the car, Mammy Pig. I don't know what it is. So and all of a sudden, the car seems to just stop and break down. And George said, I'll have a look. And Daddy Pig said, OK, but be careful, George. So George goes around the car and has a look. And he says, the front looks fine. All the wheels are up. And everything looks fine to me. Jump back in, Daddy Pig said. We'll have to phone Grandad Dog to come and pick us up. So George jumps back in the car. And Daddy Pig calls Grandad Dog. And said, Grandad Dog, quick. We need to be rescued. We've broken down on the road. And breaking down is very serious. So Grandad Dog comes along in his breakdown truck and this is really cool breakdown truck because this truck can pick up any car anywhere and he's got a really cool winch on the back so Grandad Dog said hold on guys I'm gonna just winch you on and we'll be off on our way to the garage so Grandad Dog reversed and now it's time to attach the winch to Grandad Dog and Daddy Pig's car. So once the winch is attached, it's time to start winding it in. So with a helping hand, Grandad Dog manages to get the car onto the back of the breakdown truck safely. And now they can head back to the garage to see what was wrong with the car. Hopefully it's nothing too serious, because Daddy Pig hates fixing his car. It's not his most favourite thing to do in the world. So off they go with Grandad Dog towing them with a breakdown truck. Once they get to the garage, you can see the fuel pump, the, the air pressure for the tyres, and a cool car wash. So Grandad Dog said, I'm just going to put you into the garage and we can see what's wrong. Once in the garage, Grandad Dog could see that Daddy Pig had forgot to put fuel in. And everyone said, Daddy, why didn't you make sure we had enough fuel? You knew we wanted to go out in the car today. And Daddy Pig said, I don't know. I just didn't check the fuel gauge. Such a simple mistake, Grandad Dog said. So we'll fill you back up and off you'll go. But at least everyone's safe and sound. Don't forget to subscribe. Daddy Pig, Peppa Pig and George Pig were all looking after Grandad's garage when a special guest came round. And it was only Mr Bull in his big tractor. And his big digger and his tractor was full of muddy puddle play-doh. Oh no, said Pepper and George, and George jumped in the cabin with Mr. Bull, and Mr. Bull asked, Daddy Pig, Pepper Pig, could you guys please give me a clean, please? I heard you guys are the best. Of course we could. Hit that music. Oh, I'm not a writer. Okay. said Mr. Bull and George. You've really cleaned the tractor up great. The digger looks fantastic. 
So working as a team, Daddy Pig and Peppa Pig managed to clean the big tractor all by themselves. I wonder if it'll get dirty again, but Peppa and Daddy Pig will be here to clean it again, if it needs to be. Don't forget to subscribe, said Peppa. Mommy Pig was at the shop working, when all of a sudden the shopkin's basket go up in flames and the only thing she can think of is to phone Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig. So she goes off to phone Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig. Meanwhile, at the fire station, Fireman Sam said to Peppa, it's been quite a quiet day today, Peppa, hasn't it? And Peppa said, yeah, it's been really quiet. It's quite a strange day. When all of a sudden the phone rings, and Fireman Sam said, quick, it's Mammy Pig and she's in trouble. We need to get there fast, Peppa. So Fireman Sam jumps into the fire engine, and Peppa said, wait for me, Fireman Sam. I'll jump in Jupiter too. So Peppa jumps into Jupiter and says, let's go, Sam, go. So Sam and Peppa made their way to the shop. So Mommy Pig said, thank God, guys, you're here. I've been waiting for you. And I can't get out of you because I'm stuck between the window and the baskets that are on fire. And Peppa said, are you okay? And Mommy Pig said, I'm fine. You just need to put this fire out quick. So Peppa shouted to Fireman Sam, saying, Fireman Sam, let me have the hose on the side of the truck. So with a helping hand, Peppa pulls the hose from the side of the truck out. And this hose can be used to put the fire out. So Peppa grabs the hose and points it at the fire. So finally Peppa has managed to put some water on the fire with the hose and it's going out slowly. So one basket down, one to go. So Peppa repositions the hose and nearly gets the second basket out. This one's proven a bit more difficult than the first, but finally the two fires are out and the Shopkins baskets are saved and Mammy Pig is safe. So Peppa moves the baskets out of the way and said, wow, that was a close call, Mommy Pig. Thanks for ringing us. And Mommy Pig gave Pepper a big hug to say thank you. So Fireman Sam jumps out of Jupiter and said, that was a close call, Mommy Pig. I think we just got you here in time. And Mommy Pig said to Fireman Sam, I don't even know how they went up in flames. And Fireman Sam said, because they were outside, there's a strong possibility that it could have been the sun. Because when it's such a warm day, like it has been, you have to be really careful when you're out that things don't burn. So Mommy Pig said, Thankfully you guys saved the day again. And you're definitely the best firefighters around. So everyone's safe and everyone can go home happy tonight. Don't forget to subscribe, George. Fireman Sam's just rung us up and said he's really low on fuel. So Grandad Dog has got the fuel ready for Fireman Sam to fill his truck up. So George says, yay, I can't wait to see Fireman Sam. How long is he going to be? Grandad Dog says, You won't be that long. There he is now. I can see him coming down the road. And George looks and says, Yay! Hey, it's Fireman Sam. So Fireman Sam drives into the garage and he's using Tom Thomas's 4x4 and he puts his lights on for George. Hey guys! Fireman Sam says, I'm really low on fuel today. Could you fill me up? So Fireman Sam gets out and says, I need fuel, George. Could you help me? George says, 
Yeah, I can fill you up. But Grandad Dog says, No, George. The 4x4, four four, because fuel's dangerous, George, and you have to be careful at petrol stations. Fireman Sam moves the truck around so you can fill it up. And George says, Hey, Fireman Sam, if I can't fill up the 4x4 four four with fuel, could I sit in it? Of course, Fireman Sam says. It's a lot safer inside than it is outside. So George goes up to the 4x4 four four and sits in the driver's seat. Meanwhile, Grandad Dog fills up the 4x4 four four with fuel. See, George? This is how you do it. But when you're older, you'll be able to do it yourself. So Grandad Dog fills the jeep with fuel. There we go, Fireman Sam. Oh, I just slipped on some fuel. See, George? That's why you can't be outside, just in case you fall over. All done now, Fireman Sam. George says, Hey, Fireman Sam, will you take me for a drive? Fireman Sam says, Of course, move over into the passenger seat and I'll take you around the block. So Fireman Sam and George set off in Tom Thomas's 4x4 to have a great drive. Don't forget to subscribe, says George and Fireman Sam. I will see you next time. Grandad Dog and George had just finished cleaning the garage when Grandad Dog said, Hey Pepper, we just had a phone call from Thomas and Friends and they said they need to be filled up with some fuel. So George got really excited and said, Wow, I can't wait to see Thomas. I haven't seen him for a while. Who's coming? He said, I'm not sure who's with Thomas. He says, Here they are now, said Grandad Dog. So over comes Percy, Thomas, and Stanley. Wow. Hey guys, Percy said. Thomas said the same as well. Hey guys, how are you? So George comes over to see Percy and says, Hi Percy. Hi Thomas. Hi Stanley. How are you guys? I haven't seen you for a long time. And all the trains replied, We are great. We really need some fuel so we can get on with the job though. And Grandad Dog, with a helping hand, Oh no, Grandad fell over in excitement. So Grandad Dog filled up Stanley first. George said, hey guys, looking great. While Grandad Dog filled up Thomas. And then last but not least, he finished off with Percy. So there you go guys, you've all got full tanks now. If you were tanks are full, said Grandad Dog. So all the trains thanked Grandad Dog at the same time, saying, Thanks, Grandad Dog. So George said, Hey guys, I'd love to come for a ride. Do you think you could take me and drop me off at Peppa Pig's house? So George tries to jump on the back of Stanley. So with a helping hand, George squeezes on top of Stanley. It's not the safest thing to do, said Grandad Dog. Be careful, guys. Drive slow. So Percy, followed by Thomas and Stanley, all go off to drop George off, leaving Grandad Dog to clean the garage up on his own. Don't forget to subscribe.
said Grandad Dog. Grandpa Pig has come over with a new boat to show Peppa Pig. So Peppa Pig said, wow, Grandpa, what a cool boat you've got. So Peppa jumps on top and plays with the bell and said, wow, cool bell, Grandpa. You've got a bucket. It's really cool up here. I can see everything. Nice hat, too. Got a pirate's flag as well on the back, which is really cool. And you've got these cool little places for me and George to sit in. So with a helping hand, we turn the boat around. And then we can see the other side. So we've got rope and an anchor. And we've got these cool peepholes to see through. So Grandpa said, Wow, why don't you get changed, Pepper? Look who's by there. It's Fireman Sam on Neptune, the boat. So Fireman Sam comes over on his boat to see Grandpa's boat. And Fireman Sam said, Wow, you've got such a big boat, Grandpa. How long have you had it? And Grandpa said, I've just picked it up this morning. It's really cool, said Fireman Sam. Fireman Sam suggested Peppa Pig goes and gets a life jacket on. Then maybe we can go out with Grandpa on the boat. So Peppa goes off to get the life jacket. And Fireman Sam said, go on then Peppa, go. So Peppa went off to go to put the life jacket on and comes back with the life jacket on. So now she can be super safe when they go out on Grandpa's boat together. So Fireman Sam jumps on the boat and sits down at the front and Grandpa said, come on Peppa, jump in. So Peppa jumps in the front as well with Fireman Sam. Where should we go, Grandpa said. Peppa said, as long as we guys together, we can have loads of fun. Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig loved Grandpa's new boat and now they get to go out in it to see what it can do on the open water. Where will they go? What will they do? Only they really know. But I'm sure they'll have fun wherever they go. Don't forget to subscribe, said Peppa. Peppa Pig and George were at the swings at the park when they meet the new friend, a Lego skater boy. Wow, what a cool skateboard you have, said George. It's really cool, Peppa said. So the Lego guy said, watch this. Watch what I can do on it. So he showed Peppa how he went about riding his little skateboard. So he goes around into a big circle. And George said, that looks loads of fun. Maybe me and you should get one, Peppa. That would be a great idea, George. Maybe we can ask Santa for one. And maybe we could have one for Christmas. Oh, I'd love one of them, George said. So the Lego guy jumps onto the park, onto some flowers, and before you know it, he fell over. Oh no, Pepper and George said, and they run over to help. And they said, oh, are you okay? No, my arm. It looks like he's hurt his shoulder and his arm. So Pepper phones for some help. But who's she going to phone? She has to phone the ambulance. That's the best call in this situation, said George. So they wait patiently for the ambulance to arrive. Once the ambulance comes in, they didn't have to wait very long at all. So the ambulance man can see what's going on and says, Hold on guys, let me reverse so I can get him back in the back. Easy. So the Lego guy jumps out of the ambulance. So the medic runs over to help Pepper and George and the skater guy. And he said, are you okay? But the Lego skater guy was on the floor complaining about his arm. So the medic said, no worries, you stay there and I'll get the stretcher out for you. So the medic heads over to the ambulance and opens the doors. Wow, said Pepper. Look in there, George. There's a stretcher. How cool is that? That will definitely fit the skater boy on there. 
so the medic carries it over. Do you need a hand? said Pepper and George to the medic. And the medic said, no, I'm fine, as he puts the Lego skater on the stretcher. Wow. Thanks, medic, said Pepper and George. Could you help me, Pepper? So Pepper helps get the Lego skater stretcher into the back of the van. Wow. So much room, Pepper said. You could fit some more medics in there as well. So we close the doors and the medic said, Thanks, Pepper and George. But the skater boy shouted, Don't forget my skateboard. But the medic said, It's okay, I've got it. We'll have to put her on top of the van. It'll be alright up there. But the medic said, Thanks, Pepper and George. You really helped me today. Without you guys, I wouldn't have found the location you was at. And maybe our Lego skater friend wouldn't have got the help he needed. So the medic headed off to the hospital, leaving Pepper and George to think about the day they've had. And they've done a great deed today. They've helped a new friend out who needed help urgently. And that's priceless. So don't forget, if your friends need help, don't forget to ring the right people. Don't forget to subscribe. Pepper, George, Daddy Pig and Mommy Pig are all going to the museum. Pepper and George are really excited to go to the museum today. So on the way to the museum, Pepper sees the fire station and says, look guys, it's the fire station. And then George, George sees the school and says, look Pepper, there's the school over there. And then after the school, Daddy Pig says, we're here now guys. We're at the museum finally. And Mommy Pig said, I can't wait to get inside and see what they got. You guys are going to have so much fun today. Let's jump out and have a look. So Mommy Pig, Daddy Pig, Pepper and George all jumped out of the car to have a look in the museum. So George goes into the museum to have a look, followed by Pepper. So with the help in hand, we'll take a closer look inside the museum. So Mommy and Daddy Pig goes off to have some food and a cup of tea. And Daddy Pig says, wait there, Mommy Pig. You can't go without me. So with the help in hand, we look inside the cool museum. And what's Pepper looking at? Look, a pepper has found a dinosaur. How cool is that? Said Pepper. And then George said, I want to see that too, Pepper. Can I come and have a look? And Pepper said, Yeah. Come and have a look, George. So George moves over and says, Wow, that's such a big dinosaur. And then Pe George says, Pepper, come and see what I found over here. So George takes Pepper over to the other side of the museum and there's a cool bat-like thing on the wall. So Pepper and George have had loads of fun in the museum and Daddy Pig says, Guys, are you having fun? And George said, Yes, Daddy. I'm having loads of fun today. And then Mommy Pig comes over and says, guys, it's time to get out now. So George and Pepper come out to the museum and they all jump in the car. So they all had a great day at the museum and Daddy and Mommy drive home to have some tea. We're going home now, guys, but we'll be back very soon. So don't forget to subscribe, said Peppa Pig. The barbecue. Mommy Pig, Pepper and George are all in the house getting ready. And they're getting ready to go on a special barbecue trip in the car. So Mommy Pig says, Hey George, are you ready yet? So Mommy Pig gets George ready and shouts up to Pepper, says, Pepper, are you ready yet? 
Have you got changed yet? said Mammy Pig. So Peppa shouts down and said, Yeah, I've just finished. So Peppa, George and Mammy Pig are all ready and waiting for Daddy Pig to pick him up in the car. So move out of the way, Peppa said, Mammy, so Daddy can pick us up. So Daddy Pig drives in with his car. And says, come on guys, jump in. It's time to go and have a barbecue and have a day out. Said Daddy Pig. So Mommy Pig waits for George and Peppa to get into the car. While Daddy waits. So Mommy Pig is last getting in. And with a helping hand, the top is put on. And they can make their way to their destination to have a really cool barbecue. So Peppa said, come on Daddy, go. So Daddy Pig drives off and they get to their new location. We here guys, said Daddy Pig. So they arrived at the destination. The breakdown. Pepper and Fireman Sam were going along and Pepper's fire engine broke down. So with a helping hand, Pepper and Fireman Sam gets out of the fire engine and has a look at it and tries to see what's wrong. But they just can't work out what's wrong with it. So Fireman Sam said, we need help you, Pepper. We need someone to come and rescue us. So Fireman Sam and Pepper phone for Grandad Dog to come in his pickup truck to tow them away. So Fireman Sam phoned Grandad Dog and says, Grandad Dog, we need help. We've broken down. Can you help us? And then Fireman Sam said to Peppa, Hey Peppa, Grandad Dog's on his way. He said he won't be long now. So Peppa and Fireman Sam wait patiently for Grandad Dog to turn up. So Peppa said, there's Grandad Dog now. So Grandad Dog comes in and he's got George with him, Peppa said. So Peppa shouts, Hey George, how are you? Oh no, Peppa and George fell over. Peppa said, Are you alright, George? George said, I'm fine. I was just really excited to see you and Fireman Sam. So Peppa moves out of the way along with Fireman Sam and Grandad Dog continues to turn the tow truck around to see if he can tow the fire engine away to the garage. So Grandad Dog gets out of the tow truck goes over with a helping hand of course he continues to pick the fire engine up with his cool little arm on the back of his truck. So we're going to attach the little hook to the top, Grandad Dog said. This is a fiddly job. It's quite a big job. Connect in the fire engine up to the tow truck, said Grandad Dog. So slowly but surely, with a helping hand, Grandad Dog puts the fire engine on the back of the tow truck. So Grandad Dog said to George, Hey George, are you coming back to the garage with us so we can work on the truck? So Grandad Dog said, 
There's only room for me and George, Pepper and Fireman Sam. So you guys will have to wait to be collected. All I can do is phone Postman Pat. And Postman Pat and PC Selby can come and pick you up in the police car. They're only down the road. So Pepper said, wow, that will be really cool if you could do that for us, Grandad Dog. Thanks. So Pepper jumps in with Grandad Dog. And Grandad Dog and George goes off to the garage. Meanwhile, Fireman Sam and Pepper Pig wait for Postman Pat and PC Selby to come and collect them. Pepper's really upset that his fire engine has broken down today. But Fireman Sam said, it'll be okay, Pepper. Grandad Dog will fix it. So as Postman Pat and PC Selby come in and said, hey guys, Grandad Dog said that you needed a lift. So PC Selby reverses Fireman Sam jumps in and said, Come on, Pepper, jump in the back next to me. So Fireman Sam and Pepper Pig finally got picked up by Postman Pat and PC Selby. Hopefully the fire engine will be fixed soon. Grandpa and Pepper Pig were just heading home on the boat and it's really windy today and really unstable for the boat so they're trying to get back to port quickly when all of a sudden grandpa says hold on pepper and the boat tips over and grandpa said just hold on pepper i don't know what to do but just hold on do not leave go when all out of nowhere Batman turns up. So Batman said, hold on guys, I'll save you now. So Batman pushes the boat back upright and he goes behind the boat to hold on to it, to stable it in this windy conditions. And he said, are you guys all right? Pepper said, wow, where did you come from, Batman? And Batman said, I'm always watching over you. So Batman's doing a great job at stabling the boat in these really windy conditions so the boat doesn't topple over anymore. And when things finally settle down a little bit, we have Pepper and Grandpa who are really shooken up by being tipped over in the boat. And Pepper said, thanks Batman, you really saved us today. You did a great job. Batman said, it's all in the day's work, guys. And you're my friends, so why wouldn't I save you? Oh, Grandpa said, is there anything we could do for you? And Batman said, yeah, there is, actually. You could take me to town on the boat. And Pepper and Grandpa said, what a great idea, Batman. We'll take you in on the boat now the weather is nice so everyone's safe thanks to Batman and Batman did a great deed today he saved Pepper and Grandpa don't forget to subscribe said Pepper the escaped bull postman Pat and his black and white cat was driving along the road when he sees a bull in the middle of the road Let's get out, Jess, and see what's going on. So Postman Pat gets out, and the bull looks all frustrated and lost. And Pat said, You shouldn't be on the road, bull. It's awfully dangerous round here. And the bull just seems to be lost and doesn't know where he's going. I'm sure this is Peppa Pig's bull, said Postman Pat. So how is it going to get back? When in comes Peppa Pig in a builder's van. And Peppa said, 
it's all right postman pat i've had to borrow this van to get the bull in the back of the van to get it back to the farm so pepper said let's put the back down on this van and see if we can get the bull into the back so pepper said postman pat can you help us we'll have to try to usher him in so postman pat goes one side pepper goes the other side and jess goes the other side creating like a box so the bull can't escape so slowly they all move forward and the bull has no other option but to jump onto the back of the van so with a helping hand we close the back of the van so the bull's nice and safe in the back thanks said Peppa Pig to Postman Pat and Jess I have to get back now to the farm because this bull was a very hungry bull so Postman Pat helped Peppa Pig get her bull back and off Peppa Pig goes with a bull in the back off to the farm Postman Pat said wow that was a strange 10 minutes don't forget to subscribe Peppa George and Grandad Dog are outside the garage they are waiting for Thomas Percy and Mavis to come Peppa says Hey Thomas. Thomas says, Hey guys. Peppa says, Oh Thomas, I'd love to sit on top of you, go for a ride. Oh, but I keep falling off. What can we do? George would like to go on number six, Percy. Peppa says to Grandad Dog, Grandad Dog, what can we do? So Grandad Dog has a think of a way to sit, be able to sit on top of the trains. Grandad Dog says, hey guys, I've got a cool idea. So Grandad Dog goes off to get some Play-Doh. Peppa says, what are we going to use Play-Doh for, Grandad? Grandad Dog says, I got the Play-Doh. Here I come. So the idea is, guys, Grandad Dog says, we're going to put the Play-Doh on top of the trains. So then we can all sit on top of each train and go for a ride together. So with a help in hand, we place the Play-Doh on top of the trains, making a seat for Peppa, George, and Grandad Dog. George says, I want the pink one. That's on Percy. Grandad Dog says, That's fine. You can sit wherever you like, George. So Peppa sits on top of number one, Thomas. Wow, this is really cool, Peppa says. George, jump on. So George jumps on Percy. And then Grandad Dog says, oh guys, shall I get on Mavis as well? Peppa says, yeah, jump on, Grandad. So Grandad Dog sits on top of Mavis. How fun is this, Grandad Dog says. Just a little cool idea on how to sit on top of Thomas, Percy and Mavis. So Peppa, George and Grandad Dog found a way to sit on the trains. Don't forget to subscribe, says Peppa. Thanks for watching. Peppa Pig and Grandad Dog are waiting around the garage for a special customer to come in. So Peppa asks Grandad Dog, Grandad, who's the special customer we're expecting today? Grandad Dog says, well, it's Postman Pat. He's been a special customer for years and he rang me up earlier and he said, on, he was on one of his deliveries and he hit a puddle and he needs to come round to have his van cleaned. So Pepper and Grandad Dog wait. Pepper sees, oh there he is. 
pepper spotted postman Pat and Grandad Dog says oh there he is too I can see him as well so postman Pat drives over to the garage and says hey guys postman Pat says Grandad Dog says wow this is really dirty postman Pat you must have hit a big puddle postman Pat said yeah it was pretty big I didn't see it it was deeper than I thought. So who's going to clean the van? Pepper says. Oh, Grandad Dog slipped. But he's okay. So Grandad Dog tells Pepper to clean the van. And Pepper says, oh, I'd love to clean the van. So Pepper comes over and sees how dirty it is and says wow this is really dirty postman Pat you've done a great job so Pepper brushes the van down to get rid of all the mud that's come from the puddle that postman Pat has gone into slowly and steadily he brushes the van down it's getting cleaner, he says. Wow, that's all the mud gone, Pepper said. So you're just moving the mud away from the van. I think it's time to hose it down, Grandad Dog said. So Pepper goes over to get the hose pipe. And he continues to hose the van down and said, Wow, Postman Pat, this is looking super clean now. Said Peppa Pig. It's looking really good. Postman Pat said, Yeah, you're doing a great job, Peppa. So, Pe so Peppa stands back and admires the work that he's done today. Grandad Dog comes over and says, Wow, Pepper, you did a really good job this time. Well done. So Pepper's really happy you did a great job. So Grandad Dog goes over and says, There we go, Postman Pat. All done now. Postman Pat said, Great, I can go on my special delivery run again with a nice clean van. So Pepper watches the postman Pat go. Great job, Grandad Dog says. Just waiting for our next customer now. Don't forget to subscribe. Hide and seek with George. Grandad Dog and Peppa Pig can't seem to find George. And Grandad Dog says to Peppa Pig, Peppa, have you seen George anywhere today? Peppa says, oh, I've seen him earlier. And Grandad Dog says, I bet that little rascal is hiding again. Should we try to find him? Pepper says, yeah, he loves hiding, George does. He's always trying to hide from us. So Grandad Dog looks behind the fuel to see if he's there. Grandad Dog says, he's not there, Pepper. Where else could he be? He could be in one of the jail cells, Peppa says. But I'll check behind here first. So Peppa looks and checks on the left-hand side to see if he's there. This is a scary place, Gotham City. There could be some evil people here. So we'll check inside the cells, Grandad Dog says. So opening the cells, Grandad Dog looks in each cell to see if he can see George in one of the cells. Grandad Dog says, no, he's not here. So he closes the cell doors after him. And he says, Pepper, where else could George be? 
I bet he's behind this little these two doors. It seems obvious, but Pepper just likes to tease us. Oh, there he is, Grand. Oh, there he is. Look, Grandad, he's there. Oh, Pepper. George says, "Wow, guys, you found me pretty quick this time." So George comes out and says, huh, didn't catch me that easy today. You looked everywhere but the, the doors at first, George says. So Grandad Dog says, Peppa, you are a little rascal sometimes. You're always hiding from us, but we always find you. And George says, oh no, Grandad Dog fell on George. Peppa says, George, George, are you okay? George says, I'm fine. That was pretty funny, he says. So Grandad Dog and Pepper found George in the end. George will keep hiding from him, no doubt. Thanks for watching. The special delivery. Fireman Sam and Pepper Pig are admiring their new fire truck. Pepper says, hey Fireman Sam, you've got a really nice new fire engine. Fireman Sam says, yeah I know I just picked it up this morning, thanks for coming round to see it Pepper. So Fireman Sam is expecting a special delivery today. Pepper says, what is it? Oh no, I think that's it now, Pepper says. So the special delivery is delivered by Postman Pat. Wow, Pepper says, I haven't seen Postman Pat for a long time now. Postman Pat's got his black and white cat. So his black and white cat gets out, jumps on top of the bonnet, so Postman Pat jumps out of the van to come and say hi so postman pat says hey fireman sam pepper i've got your special delivery here i've had to put it on top of the roof because it's such a big parcel says postman pat so postman pat goes to get the special delivery for fireman sam Postman Pat says, wow, this is very heavy, Fireman Sam. He says, what's in it? Postman Pat says, Fireman Sam says, oh, it's a secret. Pepper says, what's in it? Come on, Fireman Sam, let me open it. Let me see what's inside. So Fireman Sam says, go on then, Pepper. You can open it for me. So Pepper's really excited to see what's inside the special delivery. So with a helping hand, Pepper finally opens the special delivery. And Pepper says, wow, look, look, it's Percy from Thomas and Friends. Pepper Pig is really excited to see Percy today. So Fireman Sam says, yes, for my new collection, I'm collecting Thomas and Friends figures to go on my office wall. So Peppa Pig was really happy to see Percy. The black and white cat, Fireman Sam and Peppa, all admire the Thomas and Friends figure. Daddy Pig, Mommy Pig, George and Peppa we all went to the park. They went to the park to go on the slides and the roundabout today, which is really cool. So Mommy Pig says, George, why don't you go on the slide first? And Daddy Pig said, go on, George, I'll watch you from the air. But George said, oh, I'd much rather watch Peppa go first, just to make sure it's okay. So Peppa said, okay, I'll go first, and you can watch me, George. So Peppa 
goes round, climbs up the little steps, and goes, I'm, I'm going. So she goes down the slide. Wee! said Peppa. That was loads of fun. Go on, George, now it's your turn. So George said, wow, let's do this. So then George goes up the steps, also gets to the top, and goes, I'm going. Wee! And down the slide, George went. George said, that was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Should we do it again, Peppa? So Peppa goes up the steps and down the slide. Wee! said Peppa. This is too much fun. Let's do it again, George. So George goes round again, goes up the steps and down the slide. Wow, that was super fun. I think it's Daddy's turn now, George said. And Daddy said, No, it can't be you, Mommy said. I don't think Daddy should go on there. But Daddy said, Pig said, Out of the way, Mommy Pig. I'm going to do this. I know I'm a bit big. So he goes up the steps. He can't quite fit on top, but he goes down the slide. We hee Loads of fun, Daddy Pig said. I say, and then he said, I think we better go on the little roundabout. So Mommy Pig said, wow, that looks like loads of fun, George and Peppa. Come over here. So George and Peppa go on the little roundabout. So Peppa jumps on, George jumps on. Oh no, Peppa's fallen off already. Come on, Peppa. Don't mess about. So George lays down on it. And with a helping hand, Daddy Pig spins him round. First of all, he goes a little bit slow. Oh no, Peppa's fallen off again. Peppa, Mommy Pig said, what are you doing? Hold on tighter. So with a, oh no, again. Peppa just keeps falling off. So with a helping hand, they go round and round having loads of fun. And then George jumps off and says, Mom, I feel really dizzy now. And Peppa does. So Mommy Pig, Daddy Pig, Peppa and George all had a great day at the park, going down the slide and around the roundabout. And Mommy Pig said, I think it's time to go home to have some food now, guys. So they all go home and have some food. Daddy Pig wanted to take out Peppa and George for a drive in the car. They could go anywhere. They could go to the countryside, they could go to the park, they could go to the cinema. But they just wanted to get out of the house for a few hours and go for a drive. When Mommy and Daddy Pig called George from in his bedroom. And George loves playing in his bedroom because he's got loads of toys. But finally George jumps into the car and off they go. On their merry way. Where are we going? Peppa Pig said. That said, guys, the figures look great. So as everyone's happy, they got their special deliveries on time. And they found Thomas and Percy. Don't forget to subscribe, said Peppa. Peppa and George went to the park. To go on some rides. So George says to Peppa, Hey Peppa, what should we go on first? Should we go on the swings? Or should we go on the seesaw? Said George. Peppa said, Let's go on the swings first. I love the swings, Peppa said. George said, That's a great idea, Peppa. So Peppa jumps on one of the swings with a helping hand and George follows so George comes round and sits on one of the swings so once they're both on the swings they are ready to do some swinging so they go slowly at first just to get used to it 
And Pepper said, wow, this is loads of fun, George. Oh, no, George fell off, look. Oh, no. George said, I just can't fit on it, Pepper. I'm a little bit too small still. So Pepper said, you okay, George? George said, I'm fine. Well, I think we'll have to go on something else, Pepper said, if you can't fit on the swings. So looking around the park, there's a seesaw. So Pepper said, we'll have to go on there next. So Pepper and George waited for the other kids to finish on the seesaw. And then Pepper jumps on with a helping hand. And George follows. George said, I can't wait to sit on you. This is going to be a load of fun. Pepper said, come on, George, let's go. So up and down, George and Pepper went, having loads of fun. Wow, look at that. You can fit on you just fine, George. We'll have to stick to this, said Pepper, until you're a little bit bigger so we can go on the swings together. So Pepper and George had a load of fun on the seesaw. And now it's time to get off, said Pepper. So George jumps off the seesaw and waits for Pepper. George said, come on, Pepper. It's time to go home now. So Pepper said, yeah, let's go home and have some food. I'm sure Mommy and Daddy Pig can't wait to see us. And we are really hungry. And we'll come next time. So George said, when can we come next? We'll come now in a couple of days after we've been to school and had some food. Don't forget to subscribe. Mommy and Daddy Pig had a really cool idea. With Halloween coming up, they suggested to Pepper and George, Know your car, Pepper? Yes, said Pepper Pig. Should we make it into a pumpkin? We can put it, some eyes on it. And we can make it into a bright orange car for a week or two over Halloween. And Pepper said, wow, what a cool idea. That'll be lots of fun, said Pepper and George. Let's do it. So the car's brought forward, and who's going to put on the Play-Doh body onto the pumpkin car? So Pepper steps forward and puts the front on the car. Wow, good job, Pepper. So Pepper steps back, and now it's George's turn, and George is going to do the side. Wow, good job, George. It's looking like a pumpkin already. So George heads back, and who's next? Who's going to do this side, said Pepper and George. It's Mammy Pig. She's going to have a turn now. So everyone's taking their turn. Good job, Mammy Pig. Look how orange it is. It looks fantastic already. So it's just up to Daddy Pig now to do the back. And to finish off the round pumpkin car. So come on, Daddy Pig, stick the back on, said Pepper. Wow, after Daddy Pig put the back on, we can see what's it missing. It's missing a cool face, said Mammy Pig. Who's going to do that? George said, I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll put the eyes, mouth and nose on. So George steps forward and puts one eye on, two eyes, a nose, a mouth, and now it looks like a really happy pumpkin. Is there anything else missing? said Daddy Pig. Hmm, I don't know, Peppa said as she stepped forward. It's looking super cool. And now it's got a cool little stalk as well at the back. That looks fantastic, said Mammy and Daddy Pig. 
So come on, George, we can go out for a drive now and show our friends. What a cool idea, Daddy Pig. Thanks for the idea. So everyone had a really good time making a pumpkin car. Don't forget to subscribe, said Peppa. Hey guys, welcome to another surprise video. Today we're going to take a look at three Easter surprise boxes and we also have a kinder surprise to take a look at so the first box we have is a disney easter box and as you can see we've got toy story on there we got nemo we got disney cars 2 we got woody on there we got buzz we got the alien all the cool disney characters that everyone loves so let's see what we get inside so we get a green chocolate egg and we also get a little pack of sweets as well. So let's take a look at the sweets. So they're just chocolate buttons, the sweets are. Which is really nice, pretty cool. Tasty. So let's take a look at the Kinder Surprise Egg and see what we find. This is just the normal Kinder Surprise Egg. Recently you can see the blue ones, the pink ones, the Marvel ones, the Disney Princess ones. There's a load of different surprise eggs out at the moment, especially from Kinder. But let's see what we get in, in here. Ah, so we got one of these cool little bugs, I like to call them, with the little crayons. See the little coloured, the yellow and purple colours on top? they little crayons, so you can draw or colour in with them pretty cool collection as well really nice as you can see there's the crayon in use so let's take a look at our Peppa Pig milk chocolate Easter egg now, I don't know if there's anything in here sweets toys I'm not sure but they got a cool maze on one side with George starting there and Peppa at the bottom and we also get some cool information on the back that tells you to brush your teeth, make sure you recycle and stay active. So let's take a look and see if we get anything inside. So we've got a pink coated chocolate egg and I th that's it, we didn't get no sweets or anything in that one which is unfortunate. They should put a, f like we got in the Disney one, we should get a few sweets in each one would be really cool but here's the Thomas and Friends Easter eggs again got a cool puzzle on this one side to colour in and we got Thomas, Percy and James on the front and we got a red chocolate egg which is really cool but no sweets again which is unfortunate so yeah guys let me know in the comments below what you think about these Easter eggs let me know if you add any of these Hope everyone's having a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Pepper, George, and Mammy Pig find themselves in the kitchen with a giant Kinder surprise egg with Spider-Man and Hulk on top. Pepper goes over to the egg to carry it. Oh, it's an heavy egg! Wow. Look what we got, Mammy. It's a big Kinder Egg. George, come have a look at this. Quick. George comes over and has a look. Wow. Mammy comes over and has a look. And she says, wow, that's a big egg. Don't eat it all at once. She goes over to the sink to wash her hands. Pepper is thinking what to do with this egg. Shall we eat it? Or shall we open it up? So Pepper's going to open the egg to see what's inside. Wow, this is a tough egg to get into. So with a little help in hand. Pepper and George can see the chocolate. George is thinking, wow, look at all this chocolate. We've got 
what are we going to do with all this? They both try to open the egg together, but it's just too big. So Mommy Pig turns around and says, I'll help you. And she stands on the egg, just enough to open it up for them. So with a little help in hand, the egg is opened. So George and Pepper are super happy and they're really excited to see what's in the surprise egg. We'll save the chocolate till later, George says. Pepper can't wait to see what's in the surprise. Oh no, Mommy fell on George. Wow, George, are you okay? George, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. So let's see what surprise we got. So Pepper has a look inside the egg to see what we got. Wow, there's something special in there, Mommy Pig. Have a look. Wow, it's okay, I'll get it. So Mommy Pig takes the surprise out. And it's a Marvel character. Wow, George falls over with excitement. Let's take a look with a help in hand. The collection can be seen. It's really nice. Wow, Mommy loves the new surprise toy. George, get up. Come look at this, quick. So George stands by Peppa. And they love their new surprise toy. And they'll save their chocolate till after. Don't forget to subscribe.
Paddy Pig, Peppa Pig and George were all at Grandad Dog's garage. And Daddy said, we've got a special customer coming in today, guys. Who is it? asked George. It's Fireman Sam. But he's not our customer. Our customer is Titan, the fireboat. Sam said that he's been through a huge muddy puddle. And he said he needs us to clean it. Wow, said George. Can I clean it? Here he is now. Hi, Sam, everyone said. Look how dirty your boat is. You must have gone through a big puddle. And Sam said, Yeah, it was a big muddy puddle. So I brought it to you guys. And George said, I'll clean it. And Peppa said, I'll clean it too. Why don't you both share, said Daddy Pig. Great idea, said Sam. So it was up to Peppa Pig and George to make sure that the Titan fireboat is ready for its next job. So George starts to work and he goes to the back and he starts to clean the boat. So come on Peppa, let's do it. So one by one, George starts cleaning the Titan fireboat. There's loads of dirt on here. Now it's Peppa's turn. Wow, it's looking better already. Look at all this dirt that came off the boat, Sam, Peppa said. You wouldn't think there was so much dirt on him when he first came here. But look at this big pile of muddy puddle dirt. At least it's on the floor now, Sam said. Right guys, I gotta shoot off. I gotta go back to the Ocean Rescue Centre. Officer Steele needs me. Alright, see you later, said Peppa, Daddy Pig and George. So all I was left to do was to clean up the muddy puddle from the floor. And once that's done, Daddy said, You did a great job, guys. Maybe one day you can own your own garage and clean cars. And you could fix cars, pump cars' tyres up. You can do all sorts if you're a mechanic. Maybe, Peppa Pig said. So they might have found a new career. Don't forget to subscribe, said Peppa. Hey guys, it's Peppa Pig. Look at all these surprise eggs Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig have bought me. Will you guys come and help me out and help me open them all? I think we should go and help Peppa. So come on, said Peppa. Let's go. There's so many surprise eggs. We had to put them in the front room, in the kitchen and in the bathroom. Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig have spoiled me today. So let's open our red surprise egg first. And we have the talking orange. Wow. And it's on a cool little key ring. This could go on your car keys, on your bag, anywhere. So let's open the yellow surprise egg. And look, we've got two mini Hello Kitty figures. One's holding a little green apple and one's on a cool little skateboard. Wow. That's really cool, Pepper said. What will be our next egg, Mommy? Do you want to do a green one? No, let's do the pink one. The pink one is really cool. Oh, look, we've got a cool gold moshy monster. How cool is that? And now it's a green egg. And in this egg, we've got a Kinder Surprise Formula One car. And it's Daddy Pig's favourite colour, which is blue. What's going to be our next egg, Daddy? Daddy Pig, pick one. Daddy Pig picks this red one. It's just like Peppa Pig's top. I wonder what will be inside. Wow, it's a little pet shop toy. Does anyone know his little name? I'm sure he's got a name, Mommy Pig said. Maybe they can tell us in the comments below. 
Wow! In the yellow egg, we have Buzz Lightyear. He's a space ranger. Come to protect the universe. What's going to be our next surprise egg? It's the blue one. Daddy Pig loves blue. And we've got a yellow SpongeBob SquarePants. And it's a little sailor SpongeBob. So let's pick another yellow egg and see what we have. It's a cool Kinder Surprise Porsche car. This comes in a cool collection from Kinder Surprise. What's our next egg, Mommy Pig? Mommy Pig wants the pink one. She wants to see what's in the pink surprise egg. We've got Harold from Thomas and Friends. Look at Harold. Doesn't he look happy today? Looks like he's having lots of fun. So what's our next surprise egg going to be? It's got to be this cool orange egg. And it's a Disney Cars whistle. Peppa Pig loves a whistle. So next is the green surprise egg. Wow, we've got a Ben 10 Transformer in there. Wow, how cool is that? So now it's time for the yellow surprise egg. And in the yellow egg, we've got a cool Peppa Pig book. So Mommy or Daddy Pig can take Peppa Pig's Christmas list to give to Santa in it. So our last egg that Peppa chose has got a cool Hot Wheels car in it from the Kinder Surprise series. So now it's time for everyone to pick a favourite toy. And Peppa couldn't pick one. Peppa said they're all such cool toys I'm finding it hard to pick which is my favourite. So maybe you guys can tell us in the comments below what was your favourite toy from this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more fun videos, said Peppa. Followed by Peppa. George. And Daddy Pig. So with a helping hand, the top is placed back on and they roll out their little cover. So this is just to give us a bit of shade from the sun, said Daddy Pig. So where's the barbecue stuff? So Daddy Pig goes off and gets the barbecue set. While Mommy Pig, George and Peppa all wait Daddy Pig comes with a new barbecue. Wow, look what we got on here. We got fish, corn and eggs. And Mommy Pig said, where are we going to sit, Daddy Pig? Oh, yeah, I forgot the, the table. So Daddy Pig goes back off and gets the table. There we go. And I've also put the plates, knives and fork on there as well for you. How cool is that, said Daddy Pig. So Mommy Pig gets ready to eat her food, so does Peppa, followed by George. And George gets so excited, he can't control himself and he falls over. So Mommy Pig said, get off the table George, that's very naughty. So Daddy Pig makes sure George is okay. We need to bring a bigger table next time, said Mommy. So Daddy Pig goes off to cook the food and to set it out on the table. So finally Daddy Pig has finished cooking the food, leaving Mommy Pig, Daddy Pig, George and Peppa all to enjoy their barbecue lunch. Don't forget to subscribe! Oh no! shouted Fireman Sam. Daddy Pig, Peppa, your speedboat's on fire! I know, shouted Daddy Pig, and Fireman Sam turned around, and he said, Quick, jump off, guys. It's not safe on there. So Peppa Pig and Daddy Pig jumped off the speedboat. Come on, Peppa. And they jumped into the obese sea, and they got to safety 
on the Ocean Rescue Center. Come on, Daddy Pig. Oh, this feels so good on my feet, said Daddy Pig as he was in the OB's sea. Come on, Daddy Pig, don't mess about. Let's go, and he started swimming towards the Ocean Rescue Center. And when he was on the top, Fireman Sam started getting to work, but he had a really cool idea. And his really cool idea was to sprinkle Obi's balls onto the fire, which would then put it out because they're cold and they're full of water. So let's get to work, said Sam, as he started to sprinkle the Obi's balls all over the speedboat for Daddy Pig. And it wasn't long until the fire was put out. And Pepper and Daddy Pig shouted, Yay! You done it, Sam. Well done. Great job. It's okay, said Sam. It's all in a day's work for me. So Fireman Sam jumped on a jet ski and off he went into the Orbeez Sea. Come on, Pepper. Come on, Daddy, shouted Fireman Sam. It's lots of fun in here. So Daddy Pig jumped in along with Pepper. Wow, this feels really great on our feet. So Daddy Pig and Pepper were saved by Fireman Sam. And it was a really great idea to use the Orbeez balls to put the fire out, Sam. It's just another cool idea. Don't forget to subscribe, said Pepper. Pepper Pig Ice Cream George was playing in his bedroom. Mommy Pig was in the kitchen. Daddy Pig was watching TV. And Pepper Pig was washing her hands. When Pepper Pig finished washing her hands, she came over to Daddy and said, Daddy, what are you doing? And Daddy replied, saying, I'm just watching TV, Pepper. What was you up to? Oh, I was just washing my hands in the, in the toilet. Daddy Pig said, Good work. So Mommy Pig comes over and says, Where's George? Pepper? Pepper said, Oh, he must be in his room. So Pepper shouts to George, George, come down. So then George comes down from his room and said, What's matter? Is everyone okay? And then Mommy Pig said, Would you like some ice cream? So Pepper and George got really excited because they love ice cream. So Mommy Pig said, go and stand over by Daddy Pig now, and I will go and get you some ice cream. So George and Peppa stands by Daddy Pig. And then Mommy Pig goes off to get the ice cream for Peppa and George. So they wait. Wow! Peppa said. It looks just like me, Mommy. And Mommy Pig said, I know, how cool is it? And George said, that is really cool, Pepper. The ice cream is shaped to look like you. So Pepper comes over and said, it's got my nose, it's got my eyes, it's got my mouth and my hand and my little ears. I bet it tastes really nice, Daddy Pig said. Look how cool it is. And Mommy Pig said, I know, I thought you guys would like it. So who's going to start eating it first? So George comes over, has a look, and said, Wow, I'm going to eat your eyes, Peppa. So George gets stuck in and starts eating his little eyes out of the ice cream. So Peppa, George, Daddy Pig, and Mommy Pig have this cool ice cream to eat. And it looks just like Peppa. That's just too cool. Thanks for watching. Bananas in Pajamas had just set out their new house and just moved in. When B2 said to B1, B1, who's coming round today? And B1 said, it's a surprise for you, B2. And then B2 gets really excited and says, I wonder who it can be. B2 said, oh, it's Peppa Pig. So Peppa comes in and said, hey guys, how are you today? And George comes in and says, hey B1, hey B2. Really nice furniture you got. Can I try it out? Said Peppa Pig. So Peppa jumps on the sofa 
And George said, I want to play too. So George jumps on the sofa as well. And said, wow, these are really comfy, guys. They're really nice. And I love the colour red, said Peppa Pig. So B1 and B2 said, come and have a look at our kitchen. Oh, but yeah. This is also a dining room as well where we eat their breakfast, said B2. Wow, cool cooker, B2. Do you cook all your food in here? And B1 said, no, we've got a barbecue outside as well. But let's go upstairs into the bedroom. So B1 goes upstairs, followed by George, Pepper, and B2. So George follows B1. Up the stairs he goes. Followed by Peppa Pig. And up the stairs she goes. B2 said, don't forget me guys. Come on, B1 shouted. Come on B2, hurry up. So once upstairs, B1 and B2 shows them the beds. And the beds have cool Play-Doh blankets. So George jumped in and said, Wow, we've got these at our place. Mommy Pig made them for us, remember? Peppa said, Yeah, they're really good and they keep you really warm. So George spots pictures on the walls and said, Cool pictures, guys. Did you do them? B1 said, yeah, we did them in school when we was kids. So after they'd finished seeing the bedroom and the Play-Doh blankets, B1 and B2 said, thanks Peppa, thanks George for coming round to see our new house. And Peppa said, that's fine. I'd love you to come round again sometime, maybe with some more friends. Mommy Pig had just finished making a present out of Play-Doh for Daddy Pig for when he gets home. I wonder what's inside. So Mommy Pig shouts up to Pepper and George, who were playing in the George's bedroom. And she said, come on guys, come and have a look at this, what I've made for Daddy Pig. So Pepper and George rushed downstairs, really excited to see what it was. Wow, said Pepper, what is it? It's a Play-Doh present with a surprise for Daddy Pig, said Mommy Pig. And George said, what's in it? Oh, you'll have to wait and see. It'll be great to see Daddy's face when he sees what's inside. He's been nagging me for ages for one of these. When they heard a knock on the door, I wondered, is it Daddy Pig? No, said Peppa. Look, it's Grandad Dog. Hey, guys. Grandad Dog said, Who's the present for? It's for Daddy Pig. Do you mind if I stay around to see what's in it? Of course not, said Mommy Pig. So Pepper and George said, Quick, shall we have a look and see if we can see Daddy Pig? But Pepper and George couldn't see Daddy Pig anywhere, and they wondered how long he'd be. But they needn't have worried, because Daddy Pig was home soon enough. And finally, when they got home, Daddy Pig said, Hey guys! Hi, Grandad Dog. How are you? I'm great, said Grandad Dog. As Daddy Pig goes over and gives Peppa, George and Mommy Pig a big hug, and said, What's on the table? Who's this present for? It's for you, said Mommy. No way! said Daddy Pig. Really? You made it all for me? And Peppa said, Yeah, Mommy made it for you, Daddy. Oh, thank you. And he gave Mommy a big kiss. And Peppa said, Ew! Daddy, Mommy, what are you doing? So after that, Daddy Pig said, Come on in, guys. Help me open it. Let's see what's inside. So they all... Stand round while the presents opened.
once the present was opened, Grandad Dog came over and said, Wow, it's Thomas the Tank Engine. And Daddy Pig said, Yeah, I needed this one for my collection. Come here, guys. So Daddy Pig gave everyone a big hug and couldn't believe how lucky he was that his family thought of giving him his favourite train, Thomas the Tank Engine. And Mammy Pig said, Remember, guys, it's always nice to receive things, but it's just as nice to give to as well. Don't forget to subscribe, said Peppa. Peppa Pig and Grandad Dog are waiting around the garage for a special customer to come in. So Peppa asks Grandad Dog, Grandad, who's the special customer we're expecting today? Grandad Dog says, Well, it's Postman Pat. He's been a special customer for years and he rang me up earlier and he said, on, he was on one of his deliveries and he hit a puddle and he needs to come round to have his van cleaned. So Pepper and Grandad Dog wait. Pepper sees, oh there he is. Pepper spotted Postman Pat. And Grandad Dog says, oh there he is too. I can see him as well. So Postman Pat drives over to the garage and says, hey guys. Postman Pat says, Grandad Dog says, wow. This is really dirty, Postman Pat. You must have hit a big puddle. Postman Pat said, Yeah, it was pretty big. I didn't see it. It was deeper than I thought. So who's going to clean the van? Pepper says. Oh, Grandad Dog slipped. But he's okay. So Grandad Dog tells Pepper to clean the van. And Pepper says, oh, I'd love to clean the van. So Pepper comes over and sees how dirty it is and says, wow, this is really dirty, Postman Pat. You've done a great job. So Pepper brushes the van down to get rid of all the mud that's come from the puddle that Postman Pat has gone into. Slowly and steadily he brushes the van down. It's getting cleaner, he says. Wow, that's all the mud gone, Pepper said. So you're just moving the mud away from the van. I think it's time to hose it down, Grandad Dog said. So Peppa goes over to get the horse pipe. And he continues to hose the van down and said, wow, Postman Pat, this is looking super clean now. Said Peppa Pig. It's looking really good. Postman Pat said, yeah, you're doing a great job, Peppa. So, Pe so Pepper stands back and admires the work that he's done today. Grandad Dog comes over and says, Wow, Pepper, you did a really good job this time. Well done. So Pepper's really happy you did a great job. So Grandad Dog goes over and says, There we go, Postman Pat. All done now. Postman Pat said, Great, I can go on my special delivery run again with a nice clean van. So Pepper watches the Postman Pat go. Great job, Grandad Dog says. Just waiting for our next customer now. Don't forget to subscribe. Madame Gazelle was at the school teaching all the students their ABCs and their one, two, threes. When all of a sudden they hear the alarm going. So they rush outside and she said, come on guys, let's go. Meanwhile, Pepper and Sam know that the alarm's just gone off at the school, so they make a quick exit from the Pontopandi fire station and head to the school. 
Once at the school, Madame Ginzel and the students were all at the assembly point. Every school has a fire assembly point, said the kids, and they waited patiently for Sam and Peppa to arrive. And then when they arrived, they said, hey guys, and they set up the ladder to start putting the fire out. So jump up, Peppa, shouted Sam. You can put this fire out, and Sam and Peppa get to work. So once the fire was put out, they could all relax, and it was time to meet the kids. And Sam said, great job, guys. You really got to the assembly point quick. Just remember, if you have a school out there, just remember where your fire point is. And if your school alarm goes off, you know exactly where to go. So Pepper and Sam saved the day again, and all the kids could get back to school to learn their one, two, threes and their ABCs. Don't forget to subscribe, said Pepper. Daddy Pig and Peppa Pig had just arrived home after being at the park all day. And Peppa said, oh, that was really fun at the park, Daddy Pig, thanks, as he jumped out of the car. And Daddy Pig wanted to park the car up and he said, come on, Peppa, it's nearly time for bed now. Let's go. But Peppa could hear someone at the door. Oh, I wonder who that could be, said Daddy Pig as he headed over towards the door. And as he opened the door, he said, wow, look who it is, Peppa. It's Emily, Thomas the Tank Engine, James and Diesel. Wow, what are you guys doing here? Asked Peppa Pig. And Thomas replied saying, oh, it's really cold out there tonight, guys. Do you think we could have a sleepover? A Play-Doh sleepover, like we used to back in the old days? Of course, said Daddy Pig. Let me just go and get you some Play-Doh blankets. Oh, guys, this is going to be so cool, said Peppa Pig. As Daddy arrived with the new Play-Doh blankets that he made, it was a green one. Oh, don't be silly, Daddy Pig. It's on your head. That was loads of fun, said Daddy Pig, as he went off to get another Play-Doh blanket. But I wonder what colour this Play-Doh blanket would be. Can you guys guess? Of course, it's orange which is James and Peppa's favourite colour. So guys, I think you better decide who you're going to stay with, because you've only got two blankets tonight. So you'll have to share. OK, said James and Diesel. We'll stay together. And Thomas and Emily will have to stay together. That sounds like a great idea to me, said Thomas and Emily. So Daddy Pig and Peppa put the orange Play-Doh blanket over James and Diesel. That left the green blanket to go over Emily and Thomas. Wow. These are really comfy, guys. But they all started to yawn as night time came upon them. And it wasn't long before they all fell asleep. But night time doesn't last long when you sleep in. And it was really time to wake up again. But I wonder who would wake him up. But Daddy Pig woke up James and Diesel, wow, and he said, come on guys, wakey wakey, it's time to wake up. So everyone got up. And now it was up to Peppa to wake up Emily and Thomas. So Peppa jumps on Emily and Thomas, and he said, come on guys, it's time to wake up. Oh, and everyone was so tired. Thomas and friends were really tired this morning. Because they had a busy day yesterday. So what are you guys up to today? Well, we are going back to work. To get on the train line. Oh, great job. So they all headed out the door. One by one, they all left. But before they left, Diesel, Thomas, James and Emily couldn't thank Daddy Pig and Peppa Pig enough for the really cool sleepover they had. You're welcome any time, said Daddy Pig. You're some of our best friends in the world. Don't forget to subscribe, said Peppa. Peppa Pig and George 
were in the front room watching TV. Daddy Pig was washing his hands in the bathroom, and Mammy Pig was washing the dishes in the kitchen. When George said to Peppa, I'm really hungry, Peppa. I'm going to ask Mammy for some food. So Peppa and George go over to Mammy Pig and say, Mammy Pig, can we have something to eat for a dessert? Mammy Pig said, that's a great idea. And Daddy Pig turns around. As soon as Daddy Pig hears dessert, he turns around and says, what can we have, Mammy Pig? What do you have for us? So Mammy Pig goes off and says, it's a surprise. And then Daddy Pig, Peppa and George were all wondering what Mammy Pig would, would bring back from the shop. And Mammy Pig comes back with a big jelly surprise. So Mammy Pig said, we've got a Peppa Pig strawberry jelly and wow, Pepper can't even believe it. It's got Pepper on the front, and it's got a mould of Pepper on the back, so the jelly's in the shape of Pepper the pig. George said, "That's so cool, Pepper. I wish they did one with me on it." And Daddy Pig laughed, saying, "That's the best jelly mould I've ever seen. How did you find it, Mammy Pig? It looks just like me." Peppa said, and Mammy Pig said, It is you, Peppa. It don't just look like you. So everyone got really excited about the strawberry jelly. So with a helping hand, we opened the jelly, and it looks amazing, said George. How cool is it? I wonder what it'll taste like. So I think we need a spoon to eat it with. So everyone got really excited about this Peppa Pig strawberry jelly. And George jumps in the jelly and goes, Mmm, this is nice, guys. You should try it. And Mommy Pig said, Get out, but George. So everyone now can have their dessert, which is a Peppa Pig strawberry jelly. And then it's bedtime. Grandad Dog and Peppa Pig we're outside the garage. Peppa says, Hey, Grandad, we did a gr great job cleaning the garage today. What are we waiting for now? And then Grandad Dog says, We're waiting for Mr. Bull to come round because we've got a special delivery coming today. So Mr. Bull comes in and says, Hey, Grandad. Hey, Peppa. How are you? Peppa and Grandad said, We are great, thanks. Mr. Bull, has Postman Pat been yet? Grandad Dog said, no. Here he is now. So Postman Pat and his black and white cat comes to see Grandad Dog and Mr. Bull. Peppa said, what's the special delivery today, Grandad? As Jess jumps on top of the bonnet and goes over to see Peppa, Peppa goes and sees Jess, says, hi Jess, and gives Jess a quick stroke. So Postman Pat jumps out of his van to deliver the two special deliveries that he's got today. So the first one is for Grandad, and the second one is for Mr. Bull. So Peppa said, what's in the special deliveries, guys? Does anyone know? Grandad Dog said, I know. So can we open them? Grandad Dog said, of course you can. And Mr. Bull said, you can open mine if you want, Peppa. So Peppa goes over to have a look at the parcel. So Grandad Dog said, come and open this one. So with an helping hand, Grandad Dog 
opens his special delivery and it's a cool Thomas and Friends Percy collectible figure Wow Pepper said that's a really cool toy Grandad dog so Mr. Bull what do you have let's have a look so with a helping hand Pepper opens Mr. Bull's special delivery and says wow You've only got Thomas. So guys, are you collecting these cool Thomas and Friends toys? Mr. Bull and Grandad Dog said, yes, we're both collecting them. Postman Pat said, guys, the figures look great. 